Hello, YouTubers. We're back. I've got a uh, another one of the reliable WZRELB uh, 4,000 watt split phase inverter, um, 24 volt, of course, and looks pretty decent here. I did check all these outlets. That's all wired up good. Uh, just one thing to note on that 220, 240 volt outlet there. I'll bring it. Talk about that later. Um, one of the first things to notice here is the uh, the old blade fuses. They used to have rows of those. You know, they'd have them in series or a uh, uh, parallel. You'd see two and two and two. And you usually end up with about eight of these blade fuses. They've just replaced that with one 200 amp fuse, and they give you a spare. Um, I'm planning on anyways. I'm going to put a 150 amp fuse on. So it's going to kind of negate that 200. Hopefully that 200 never has to pop. Um, anyways, yeah, pretty solid, pretty heavy, heavy uh, inverter. Well, the other thing I noticed as well is there are no adjusters, of voltage adjusters, those little blue uh, potentiometers there. You can't you can't adjust voltage at all like this, with this. It's all going to be in the control boards. Um, and anyways, yeah, I picked it up off of eBay. I know they're going for, you know, about 650 bucks. You can get them down around 500 bucks, something like that. And I've just been eyeing these for a while, just kind of browsing every, every couple of weeks or so. Um, but I saw this come up, $382. I thought it was a typo, so I clicked on it and bought it, and, well, here it is. And it's new. It's not a used. It was you know, brand new, and it was the last one out of, like, a lot of 10, I believe nine or ten of them um one of the things i plan to do here i know that these led screens tend to burn out from all the heat with that and they have a big 9000 watt model that comes with the remote so this can be removed but you see these little tabs right here those little tabs you just gently push them down and in from the back of this case the back side of that case and this and they gently pop each corner out and this this comes out real easy and i went on to uh, ebay or amazon picked up some replacement cables for this so now what i can do is plug that in there splice this and have a you know 12 foot 15 16 foot remote that way i can keep this well away from the unit and keep the heat out of, at, not an issue the other thing about as well i bought a packet of these um with assortment and i can use this on the power right in there and run a remote uh power switch for it so that's kind of cool <laughs> um let's see it comes around you, you get the cables they give you the two you know the five five gauge six gauge cables something like that of course i probably won't be using those old use those for something else might use them use a pair of those to bridge my batteries um, you know, my two 12 volts get 24 volts out of it. Um, they did wire the outlets correctly, which is nice. And, and all these black ones I've seen when they have, when you have that white outlet sideways, they, they manage to wire that correctly with the neutral, neutral and, and the, and the hot or line, line load. So it all figures out what I did notice. However, though, is the, the ground on the 220 outlet. So you get, you get 120, 120, so you get 240. But this just, it ties in with all the grounds, the grounds for the outlets, right? And then it also ties in with this, this ground here. So if you were to earth ground that, you wouldn't necessarily get the 110 you need, I don't think, from, say, say for example, you plugged in something like a heavy freezer or fridge that had the compressor, you need the 220. And then you also need a 110 fan or lights or something like that in there. You wouldn't be getting your 110 or 120 out of there. Um, I think you're gonna what you're gonna have to do is do a neutral bond, take your neutral to your ground if you're using this solo. And of course, if you're hooking it into a panel and you do a neutral bond in a, in the panel, um, then it will bond that ground. That ground will then be bonded, and you'll have the 110 circuit between either of these legs from that ground up so just remember that that's only connected to ground there's no neutral connection on that 
So the only way, if you have one of those type of appliances that needs, needs 110 as well as 220 and that same plug, you know, for that same appliance, you'll have to probably do a, a jumper between the ground and neutral there. So anyways, little little pre-video, I'll be getting it going and, and do some testing on it and I'll make another video. We'll test out the uh, this 220 capabilities and whatnot. Okay, lots in, lots out. Checking out.